This is another number 60. They say 2 to the n plus 1 equals 2 times m. So why don't we pick a number for n? Why don't we say that n is equal to, I don't know, 2. So that means that we're going to get 2 to the 2 plus 1, which is really 2 to the 3rd, which is 8. And they say that that's equal to 2 times m. Well, 8 is 2 times 4, so that means that m would have to be 4. So now we have these two numbers, n and m, and we can see what 2 to the n plus 3 is in terms of that m value of 4. Well, 2 to the n plus 3, if n is 2, is going to be 2 to the 2 plus 3, which is 2 to the 5th. And 2 to the 5th, if you don't know it, you can use your calculator. That's going to be 32. And so the question is, how does that number 32 relate to 4? Well, we can take 4 for m, and now we can plug it into each of the answers, hoping to get 32. So if we test it in f, that's not going to work. It's going to be a fraction. Same in g, that's not going to give us 32. What about m cubed? Well, if m is 4, 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4. That's not going to work. That'll give us 64, not 32. What about 4m squared? 4 times 4 squared is 4 times 16. That's going to give us 64 as well. But what about k? k must be the answer. 8 times m, which was 4, does give us 32. If you wanted, you could have maybe worked backwards from the answers. You didn't have to necessarily go in order. Either way, if you pick your own numbers, you should still get the same answer, and you're going to get K.